that silo is built, you know, you have the potential then for school students at Marsh Fork to have black lung disease before they get to high school. And I think that would be a terrible thing to happen if you could avoid it. Um, hey everybody, I'm Jennifer Hall. I'm the really great to see everybody here uh, in support of the students and the faculty at Marsh Fork Elementary. I think that it's clear to most everybody who's gathered here that Marsh Fork Elementary is a very clear example of energy injustice that's happening globally. I think it's important to everybody who lives in the area and really anybody who turns their light switch on in the we southeast. We have incredible technology, renewable, clean, sustainable energy technologies available to us. In fact, where I live, Coal River Mountain has recently been discovered as wind viable. Um, but with wind power, solar power, and the ability for us as individuals to conserve and be efficient, there really is no need for anybody to suffer so that I can turn the lights on in my house. And there's definitely not a need for the children of Marsh Fork Elementary and the faculty there to have to go to school or teach in the shadow of not just one coal silo, but now two coal silos. What we need is to diversify the economy in these areas that were previously dominated by coal economics only. Mono economies don't work for communities. They're not healthy. Amen. And coal silos Amen. above schools elementary schools or any schools are not healthy. So do you think building a school is really easy? Yeah. yeah. Let's show them how it's done. Woo! been addressed. The issue has not been addressed. So we're going to go in and try to see the governor and have a little time with him and, and see if he will at least address the uh, silos and maybe come up with a new plan for a new school. We want a new school.